Uh, and we're going to shift. <laughs> we're going to shift over to Josh, uh, who's going to lead us all through another game ready. Uh, so, Josh, feel free to, uh, to take the helm. Awesome. Awesome. Well, hey, Catherine, I'll just give you, since you like information, let me give you a little information on this beforehand, because sometimes people do this and they're like, that was a little weird. So, <laughs> um, so I, uh, I'm going to take us through a uh, pre-game visualization. Um, I work with, uh, you know, Dustin Watton, you know, Dustin at all. He's a Long Beach guy right so so dustin and i work pretty intimately uh together hopefully guys i can get dustin to come on next week <laughs> to do some q a with you guys but uh so this this is a pre-game visualization technique um that i use with with some some of the top athletes out there that we've been honing here the idea is you know kobe you're from southern california are you a kobe bryant fan I am. Very okay, <laughs> cool, cool. So he had the Mamba mentality. And the idea of this is we use beast triggers. You know, something you mentioned that uh, if, if what, what was that? If, if you don't go, you won't know, right? That's like triggers you. So it's this concept of triggering you into action using beasts. Um, very similar to what Kobe kind of saw himself as a Mamba. So, uh, so we study the beasts and try to figure out how we can be more instinctual and 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 less emotional and thinking too much right just hone everything in that we've learned you know as we put our feelers out there so that's like that's the purpose of this um and it is kind of like a meditation and, and pre-visualization um so just uh is that is that enough of a preface for you okay awesome everyone i want to know so this week we're going to do the rhino right co which stands for commitment what did you guys learn about the rhino this week you throw it in the chat or unmute yourself for a quick second did you study the rhino at all what did you learn or you can remind us what we talked about last week never quit yep they fight to the death have one of the highest mortality rates in the animal kingdom because they don't stop till somebody's dead. Yep, exactly. Cool. Ooh, rhinos are vulnerable. Okay. Thick skin, very persistent. The ox pecker is its pal, right? It's like the, that bird helps them detect so many things. Commit to the end. Okay. There was another cool one that even I learned this week. Even the mighty lion, the king of the jungle, will actually call off its hunt for prey if it detects a rhino in the area. That's kind of cool, right? It tells you how bad the rhino is, right? Okay. Good stuff. So those are all, those are like the main things, right? Um, and remembering Co uh, Coco, right? Or Co, you know, my daughter likes me to call her Coco. That's the rhino. It's this undying commitment to make your intentions, that thing you're focused on, that specific behavior you're focused on for that game, that match, happen. Nothing's going to stop you. Somebody mentioned the last dance in here. That was Michael Jordan. I'm, I'm in fact, I was on a speaking circuit together with uh, Michael Jordan's physical and mental trainer um, who wrote the book Relentless. If you haven't read that, read the book Relentless. And he talks about Michael Jordan's uh, just, he gave up everything. He sacrificed everything with absolute commitment to win championship after championship after championship. So <clears throat> awesome. So that's the idea. That's the concept we have here, right? So think of whatever your coaches want you to work on right now. You know, for example, Catherine, maybe it's that, you know, punching over, you know, on your block or, or creating that space that Dustin talks about that all day long, right? Creating that space as a libero, as a passer, you know, um, to, to help yourself pass 
pass better, right? So whatever your, your specific behavior that you're focused on, think of that as we do this visualization. So if you guys can just get in your kind of relaxed state and just, you know, have some good posture and focus on your breathing. And we're just going to start doing some what we call respa breaths. So breathe in through your nose for four counts. One, two, three, four. Breathe out through your mouth for six counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, focus on that breathing. Expand your belly as you breathe in and collapse your belly as you breathe out. And when you feel nice and relaxed, go ahead and close your eyes. Continue that breathing as you close your eyes and you relax. Breathe in a commitment to dominate. Breathe out distractions, hesitation. Breathe in empowerment. And breathe out weakness. As you go through your breathing, I want you to now think of some things that you're grateful for. Grateful for the life that you have, for the family that you've probably been able to spend so much more time with right now. Think of your body and how grateful you are for your talents, for your mind, for your family and friends, your coaches, the experiences you get to have. Think of anything else that you're grateful for. Just let that energy kind of build inside of you as you think of that gratitude. And then with, when you're ready, as you continue with your eyes closed, look out in your mind and see a gate. You're the creator of this gate. It can be big, small, wooden, metal, any parameters you want on it. Just see a gate and go ahead and walk up to that gate. Open it up. And when you open that up, step into the most beautiful place of nature. Create it however you want it. But I want you to see it as if it's right there in front of you. Look out and span the horizon. Maybe it's a beach. Maybe you're in the mountains. But see it clearly. See those trees right in front of you. See that sun glaring down on you. Feel the warmth of that sun on your face. Connect with this place of nature. Maybe run some sand through your fingers. You know, grab, grab a flower, pick the flower. Just connect physically. You're right there. Now I want you to take in the sounds. Hear the birds as they pass by. Hear the light breeze, the crashing of waves, the running of water. Whatever's going on in your place of nature, hear those sounds. And then I want you to take in a respa breath again and take in the smells of this place. That fresh flower that you picked, maybe the fresh ocean breeze, those evergreen leaves. Remember, it's this time that you take to get very vivid in the details of your visualizations that make them stronger, that bring them to life. So I want you to go ahead now and in your mind, see a second gate. This gate is the doorway into the gym where you're going to play today. See yourself step into that gym and feel your body as you walk, just feeling strong, ready to go. You're ready to warm up. Go ahead and start your warm up routine. Feel it. Feel your body just get warmer and warmer as you execute and warm up. Every touch of the ball, you feel stronger. Every touch of the ball, you feel more committed. Keep that going until that match is about to start. Hear that whistle, and I want you to step up to that court. I want you to see yourself with that rhino horn. Maybe see it on top of your head or wherever you want to see it, but see the undying commitment, that singular commitment to carry out your intention. What is your intention today? Think of it now and see an absolute commitment to accomplishing it today. 
Nothing's going to stop you. It's to the death. Connect with that rhino. You are Coco today. You are the rhino. See yourself as that match starts getting your position and see that first serve come at you. See yourself step in and make the play. See yourself execute your intention so flawlessly that you feel like a beast. You feel unstoppable from the start. And see your teammates just notice it from the start. Today, you are going to be absolutely committed. See yourself now as the next play comes at you. You are unstoppable. You execute again with perfection and make the play. See, your, see the play as it goes from teammate to teammate, and then you make the play. Feel that energy. Feel that commitment to your intentions. Feel your teammates keep getting excited. They're looking to you as their leader right now because the way you're dominating, the way you're committed. See yourself make play after play after play. Now I want you to see yourself in a tough spot in the match, maybe the end of the match. There's some, there's some tension. Everybody's worried. Are you going to win? It's a five-setter. You're down a couple points. See a, see a tough situation. Envision yourself just focusing on being the rhino, absolutely committed. You do what it takes. You're going to execute. You don't care about anything else but getting your kill. See yourself now step in with that confidence, with that commitment, and make another big play. See your teammates get so excited, they start to believe it, that they can do the same, that they're beasts as well. See yourself now step in and make a few more plays in these intense situations where everything's on the line, but you're calm, you're cool, and absolutely committed to making this happen. See yourself like a rhino in a china shop, just busting glass. See yourself take over and overpower the other team. Then celebrate with your team as you win and celebrate however you do, high fives, hugs. And then I want you to step off that court. And as you step off that court, step back, start walking back towards your, through your second door and into your place of nature. When you step back into your place of nature, oh my gosh, you gave everything. You feel that, like you just put 100% into that absolute commitment. You need to be refreshed. Go find a source of fresh water in your place of nature, a well or a, a creek. Just take a drink and fill that water. Go through your throat and hit your belly and then just radiate throughout your body, strengthening you. Take one last rest by breath. Pull that power from your place of nature. It's with you all the time. All you have to do is take that respa breath and pull that power and remember the rhino and that absolute commitment to your intentions. With that, I want you to look out and see your second or your first gate and walk back through it, then open your eyes. You are game ready. All right, guys. How did that? Uh, how did that feel? Give me your feelings today. Catherine, was that super weird? Do you want to give us your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, I've never done anything like that before. I mean, I've done so like I've done like meditation practices before um, and guided meditation, but that's pretty cool. Like, I've never done it to where like I was actually like every step, like walking into the gym or like walking into a place that I really enjoy. So that was cool. That's cool. Yep. This is, uh, that's the key. We've, uh, as a team, we've produced four major league baseball MVPs using this process. So it's, uh, and I, I launched it to volleyball last year. Dustin was my first client. So, so yeah, it's, it's awesome. Cool. Thanks. Empowered. Cool. You could see yourself in the first person view for the first time. You're getting better. Good job. Clear minded, confident, relaxed. <laughs> All right, you were a rhino. I love it. Awesome, man. It's, it's so cool to see how you guys are progressing week to week and uh, swing blocks. 
<laughs> Might be your new spirit animal. I love it. Cool. <laughs> All right. Awesome, guys. Thanks for sharing. Thanks uh, uh, thanks for allowing me to to have a little time there, Catherine, and I'll turn it back over to you, John. Thanks. Thank you, Josh. Once again, uh, an awesome experience to have uh, you lead us to another game ready. Um, I'm loving the feedback. Sam, I love it. It's your new spirit animal. Just got to commit to it. Nothing's going to stop you. Love that. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I think our, our time together, uh, though we're over an hour, just a, a little bit, uh, is coming to an end. Uh, I open the floor one last time to our coaches or anyone else that uh, would like to kind of thank Catherine for taking the time today um, and uh, showing her some love. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>